the video, posted by BBC Politics Twitter account earlier this evening, seems to try to appeal to a millennial audience with an over-the-top metaphor comparing Brexit to moving out of a house share? The narrator says, So imagine I live in a house with a few other people until recently Eva decided I want to move out. I don't hate my housemates or anything, I just want an independent sovereign place to myself. The thing is I recently said did pay towards fixing the boiling and that dodgy leak in the ceiling. Related articles Ireland leak draft Brexit deal to remove May from Downing Street Prominent Brexiteer Peter Lilly blasts CU for Irish border threats. Do I really have to pay? Scores of Twitter users reacted with anger to the post with many slamming the typical one-sided view from the BBC One said, the EU doesn't fund anything, us taxpayers fund everything, leaving means that our elected representatives get to decide what's done with our money in our country. Another said, the EU funds nothing. It is our money in the first place. Getty, BC video was posted by BBC Politics Twitter account earlier this evening. BC the video was described as a condescending pro-Brussels propaganda. One user replied, the BBC should not be in the business of EU propaganda. How about this, I have lived in a house where for many years I have been paying more rent than than most of the other occupants. The other occupants have also been telling me what to do in my own room, sometimes they decide to come into my room for long periods and demand I make them cups of tea and feed them biscuits. Sometimes they take those biscuits back to their own rooms. We have a dodgy boiler but I am expected to pay more than my fair share to get it fixed. Another person said, impartial BBC doing the EU's political lobbying with our license fee, and one added, utter 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 nincompapery of the dullest order, the BBC said in a statement, this is an impartial issue explainer. We continue to report on Brexit developments in an impartial way. Related articles Labour MP calls for a general election to present pro-EU agenda Toysi chits at a Theresa May after Irish border agreement fails Corbyn takes swipe at May and up over Brexit.